Good morning, precious saints. This is going to be a really quick word. I was doing my makeup, talking to the Lord, worshiping, praying as I'm getting ready for work. So ever since January 12th, I've been giving the Lord my first fruits and spending more time with him in the morning. Um, I'm still waking up at crazy hours. And it's crazy because as I was talking to him, he put this word sh like strong on my spirit. And it's something that I had already told you guys that um, that judgment's coming, that judgment's coming, that war is coming. And it's confirmation to everything that's been going on. I don't know if you guys uh, follow Pastor Mike Signorelli or Mark the Messenger, um, but they are... Um, they have some videos from yesterday saying about the grid, the, the power grid, um, like being attacked and they're going to turn off all social media. Um, and this is just confirmation as to everything that the Lord has been telling me. Of course, I went to Costco the day that I heard the Lord told me to prepare and I've been slowly preparing. I'm not going too crazy or spending too much money. Um, the Lord is in this season teaching me. Yesterday, he cut me. Because, um, so yesterday morning, I read Proverbs. I, I, I read the proverb of the day. I, I learned this from um, Apostle Jason Welch. Um, he used to be our spiritual covering. And I am so blessed and honored. I still follow him. I am so blessed and honored to have met this man of God. Because, oh my gosh, like I just learned so much from him. And, and just his wife and everybody in the congregation. But... Sorry that I'm getting off topic. It just has a lot to do with um, where I am today. But it's crazy because I'm like losing my train of thought. Whenever I get excited, I get all over the place. I don't know if it's the Holy Spirit, the excitement in me, or the Latina in me. Maybe all three of them. But where I'm trying to go is that um, he, uh, Apostle Jason Welch taught me that um th th something that he still does is he reads the proverb of the day so if today is the 24th then i read proverbs chapter 24 the whole thing and uh two nights ago while me and my family were having dinner um a conversation started where uh, i'm starting to spend a lot of money again like on things that i want not need and i repented and i literally confessed my sin which they my, my family knows because I've been getting packages um I gotta stay like away from like Goodwill and I love like thrift stores and Timu oh my gosh I'm just like sorry I'm confessing it to now y'all <laughs> but I repented in front of my family I was like you guys I've been using my credit card and I haven't done that in years like I've been doing it for groceries and I don't feel condemnation there but I feel I know that it's not the Lord to feel condemnation, but I, I, I guess I, I could say, honestly, I'll be transparent. I feel shame because I'm like, how did I fall into the scheme? And it probably lasted like two whole months of me spending so much and then seeing how much I now owe. And I'm like, oh my gosh, what am I going through? Lord, show me the root of the problem. And I, 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 I got the clarity, but you guys, the Lord is literally teaching me as I'm like, preaching the word to you guys it's really for me he's teaching me that i have to get back in like full submission to him because i was spending like that because i was hurt i was starting to feel rejected again and the enemy it has been sending many people to come in like um kind of like hurt me and my emotions have just been a roller coaster it's like i have my days where I feel super strong and then I have my days where I'm just like doubting like what am I doing but you guys it's so important to give the Lord your first fruits since I've been doing that since January 12 I started supernaturally now I'm just like man I don't want this to end I love spending three hours with him in the morning and I know that that's a bit much it's just where he has me right now I haven't always been this way and I don't know if this will last you know forever but in this season i'm just like man i'm loving spending time with him time just flies time just flies like 
I get up like like today I got up at 1 16 and I'm just like what am I gonna do up so many hours I have to get ready at 4 in the morning so I'm literally spending three hours with him and it's supernatural because time just flies it's crazy but then I get to work and it's like supernatural strength everything just starts falling into place and accordingly and then I read my journal I have three journals this is the one from 2014 2024 <laughs> this is the one from 2024 I started journaling again um 2021 and then I have 2021 2022 2023 and the 2024 no maybe i started journaling 2022 but my thing is that i have three journals and it's crazy because last year at this same time the lord was doing the same thing i was waking up at this time around this time and he told me that this season he uh, well at least what he's doing with me i don't know what he's doing with you guys but it's uh acceleration he he is accelerating everything it's like happening happening super fast and supernatural and then he said of course in this season we're in the season of judgment judgment's coming and exposure and that's where i was going with this video um i'm doing my makeup and i hear the lord tell me to you know jump on youtube and i should have done a live i don't i don't know how to do that um, but he just started revealing to me, you know, all these things and I started to feel the Holy Ghost and I'm just like, okay, I gotta, instead of journaling it, I gotta get on here so I don't forget what he is telling me. And I was like, oh my gosh, I don't even have my makeup on. <laughs> but I was like, yes, Lord, use me. I am your willing vessel and I am your servant. So use me, send me whenever you want. Like I am willing. So you guys, um, yes, judgment's coming exposure is coming and if i have not said this enough i will say it again and again and again and again have a relationship with the holy spirit that's it start with that if, if you think that being a christian is too hard don't worry about that don't worry about getting sober don't worry about whatever your sin is whatever you're struggling with just come to god as you are he will do the rest he did it with me he did it with my husband and he will do it for you too he is still doing it with me so with that being said i love y'all and um if you don't have a bible get one because that's how we are gonna um we have to know our word we're, we're getting to some some crazy times you guys and we have to know our word so we are not deceived and not only your Bible, but get in relationship with the Lord so you can test the spirit. Because that's the way you're going to know if it's the Lord talking to you, by knowing your word. And that's how you can fight the devil, by knowing your word. Um, Jesus Christ did it. Like, in order for Satan to flee, he would throw the word at him, you know? All right, I love you guys.